Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, little quick one for you here about building up the Purdy Shuffle, so-called. That's the beat that goes a bit like this. Lovely, lovely little groove. Popularised, the course, by the legendary Bernard Purdy. Purdy and uh, it's a half-time shuffle, right? So uh, this is the order that very often, I would say, is a great way to build this up. It's not the only way to do it. It's not the definitive way. But it's just the way that uh, when we do this uh, with students in uh, sessions, in lessons, this is often uh, a way that they dig building it up. First step is play the hi-hat, doing your shuffle. Uh, it's a swung eighth notes, right? Shuffled eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. Obviously, you need a bit of facility with that. You need to stick uh, firing uh, along there to, at a moderate kind of speed. One and two and three and four to make this work, to make it groove. That's the first step. The second step is, I would say, add in the ghosted little snare drum notes. The thing that makes this the Purdy Shuffle more than anything else, I would say, is those beautiful little ghosted notes. He says, what does he say? Uh, Don't worry about those ghost notes. Ain't nothing but a rebound. So we're talking like here, super quiet, as quiet as you can play and still play cleanly. Here, we'll now add those ghosted notes to the hi-hat part. Like that. So if you think of your a shuffle feel on the hi-hat, right? Well, when we break it down, a shuffle is basically a triplet feel, isn't it? With the middle note, the second one of each three, left out, isn't it? One trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let one trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let... So if you're doing that count, it's the trip that we're going to play on the snare drum, the ghosted snare drum. I'll do it real slow. One trip, let two trip, let... So I would say this is stage two. If you get yourself to here, you're in the game. I'll do that again real slow. One trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let one trip. Let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let one trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let one trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let. Next stage, and it might be that you sit on that for flipping ages, man. Get that to groove, that's fine. There should be, you should be in zero hurry here, in my opinion. Like haste is your absolute worst enemy with building up stuff like this. Um, uh, next one is the big loud snare drum, the back beat, so to speak, which is on the three in the case of this half time shuffle. Now the bit, the moment that will stitch you up if you're here for the first time, uh, this third phase, is that big snare drum hit. That's the moment. You're going to go three triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four real slow. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. When you do your big backbeat hit on the snare on three, which is with the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and, you do the ghosted snare drum straight after, bah, bah, like a kind of delay effect or echo effect. Quiet note straight after. Check it out. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. stage three adding in that one just take your time i can't say it enough times pour over that moment where it goes three trip look that's both hands on the three quiet snare on the trip 
hi hat again on the let. Pour over that moment, man. You'll every just human nature will make you try and play through that quick. Just break it down. Show your hands and your feet and your brain, your nervous system that moment, and it will come good in the end. That's stage three. And stage four is adding the bass drum. So it's all about the hands, man. If you've got the hands working. Then you can add your bass drum. First of all, I just put it on the on beat one. One, two, And I suppose the classic um, Purdy shuffle is probably this bass drum. Something like that. So uh, phase one, just the hi-hat. One and two and three and four. And phase two, add the ghosted snares. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Phase three, add the backbeat snare on beat three. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Slow down and think it out on that beat three. Follow the notation. And beat, uh, beat four, stage four, add the bass drum. Hope that all makes a bit of sense. And thanks for watching. Great suggestion by Steve, channel member Steve, and loads of people have asked me about that. Uh, and it's something I've been doing a little bit in the lessons this week is like as a kind of warm-up activity for the guys who are sort of in that ballpark is uh, working up the Purdy Shuffle. That's one great way to go about it. I can't repeat enough. That's not the only way. That's not the definitive way. It's just one great way, one great order of doing things. And just take your time and pour over each uh, step. So thanks to Steve and thanks to everyone else uh, for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoy enjoyed these videos, found them helpful, useful, entertaining, informative in any way, and you're in a position to, please consider supporting this channel via my Buy Me A Coffee support page, uh, which is linked in the description below. You can just buy me a coffee, which I hugely appreciate. Thank you to all the people who do that or you can become a channel member uh, to support this channel and help it grow and get a whole load of great features including a uh, complimentary zoom session uh, com uh, personalized practice plan weekly members videos breakdowns of the songs that i play on here notation like a downloadable notation for all the uh, videos of this nature tuition videos and loads more stuff besides uh, details in the description if that's of interest thanks a million for watching see you soon cheers